Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we will be handling enemy hit points. Ready? Let's go. We will only be using assets that we have used before in our previous tutorials. So first we want to create an enemy for us to shoot at, so let's pick one from our existing character set. This seems like a vicious opponent. And then let's create a script for the enemies called Enemy Behavior and open it. The only thing the enemies have to do for this tutorial is to die. I know, it's brutal. All we will need is two properties. The first is a float called Hit Points and does not need a default value. The second, also a float, can be called Max Hit Points. Here we will use a default value of 5. When the enemy spawns we should reset its health to be max health. The enemy only has a single purpose, and that is to despawn when they have no more health left. So let's create a method called take hit, with a single parameter called damage. Alright, subtract their health when they get hit. And when they have no more hit points, we can despawn them with the destroy function, the same as the projectile in the previous tutorial. Speaking of the projectile, let's configure it to detect if an enemy was hit when a collision occurs. If it is, we can call the take hit method. And for the sake of simplicity, we will pass along one damage. But you can have other projectiles do more or less damage. That should be it for hit points. So let's configure Unity. Add the behavior to the enemy object and hit play. Right, let's fire at the enemy. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yep, dead as expected. Perfect, this is about as simple as enemy hit points can be, and to be honest, it really does not have to be more complicated either. We will do a resistance slash armor video in the future. Head over to Patreon to see how you can suggest new videos and vote on our new content. We'll leave a link in the description below. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification buttons to stay up to date with our 5 minute tutorial series. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments below. Further, we're happy to answer any questions you may have about Unity on our Discord. And that's a wrap. See you in the next one.